All right, what is good, everybody? Welcome, welcome to the Spiritual War Room. I'm going to try and get a quick message out. I got two babies here, so it might be a little... If you hear noise in the background, that's what that is. All right, guys, before we jump into this, don't forget to show me some love, like, share, subscribe. We're just going to pull some uh, cards and get a message, morning message. Let's see. Okay, we're starting out with the Hierophant. We have the Nine of Cups. Taking all of these. We got the tower I saw. I saw the tower and the uh, three of swords. Ooh. What is this? Where, okay, I, with the Hera, I'm, I'm taking this as, um, this could be a, a government. Someone's got, like, I don't know which, which government, whatever government this is, they were very sure that the, something was going to work out, but it turned out it didn't. Now they're worried about their partnerships. So this could be Israel. Now they're, it's like they're, they're kind of like stuck in their own mess that they created. Yeah, they lied, they lied. And they did this for profit. Selling, selling it to the highest bidder. Something, selling it to the highest bidder. Something about near water. So is this Garza? Garza? Gaza? I don't know why I said Garza. <laughs> Gaza. Gaza, like waterfront, like I don't know. So now Israel's stuck in their mess, and they're really worried about their their partnership with the United States. I did not expect this to come out. Okay, the magician. What's the magician about? Yeah, they wanted to like relocate these. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They. <sighs> They're hiding this, man. Whoever they partnered with was. Um, they promised. Like. Big, like a big payout if you part it. Like if they partnered with them. But instead, it, it led to their defeat. Sorry, I thought there was like... Okay. Yeah. Mm. They took action to relocate these people, and they did this by, like, murdering. And now the consequences are going to come back to them. Towards the end of the days, all, all nations will turn against Israel. And that's why, because of what Israel did. Damn. Well, that has been your early morning message. <laughs> this is crazy. <coughs> I kind of, I, I mean, we're only four minutes in. So let's get a message because I can't just leave it like that. <laughs> like, well, end of days. <laughs> Oh, sorry. This is just... I was not expecting that to come out. I was thinking it was going to be something about, like, Diddy or, you know, some crazy shit like that. But. All right, let's get a final message for the collective. What does the collective need to know? Message from spirit, please. Message from spirit. We have peace. And the night of Raphael... Release the past. There's a more there's a more enriching future coming. Let go and let God. Knight of Raphael. Committed romantic uh, committed romantic relationships being swept off your feet. Situations or topics that make your heart flutter. Hmm. I'm not really sure what this is. 
situations. Oh, so much your heart flutter. What's the and like up here it says romantic, dramatic, poetic, introspective, like being introspective. With the king of water, like judgment, yeah, like making making good decisions. Looking back at the past, releasing the past. Judgment's being called all around the world. It's not just uh, Israel. Judgment's being called on any any um, power, institution, any um, institution of power that tries to maintain control instead of protecting and providing, you know, uh, you know, and leading. If their main objective is control, judgment's going to be called on every single nation around the world whose leaders are, I'm hearing authoritarian, so, um, yeah, the judgment, judgment, the end of days is here, <laughs> you know, like, I know it seems really, you know, it, it, it seems so ominous, but, um, you know, embrace peace, embracing peace is going to um, be beneficial because everyone, you know, like I said, judgment's being called on any institution and it doesn't have to be just governments. It's like any kind of institution uh, who leads with um, the desire for control and power over the desire to be, you know, a good leader to protect, provide, and to lead their communities that have been entrusted to them. If they are only care, if they only care about control and power, these people are going to go down. So, yeah, if you've embraced peace, don't worry. There's nothing for these, you know, you to worry about. It's it's the ones that were doing wicked shit. I think um, with the night of Raphael, these people are, are are having to to kind of reflect on what they've done because even if they don't get taken down through the you know the legal system oh god is going to bring them down and this could hit their finances their health their, it could they could impact so many areas of their life so all right guys i'm gonna end this here don't forget to like share subscribe and i will see you guys next time